Paddington. Paddington. Mr. Brown, in here. What are you doing? We need to get into that archive. Oh. Mm -hmm. Paddington, please don't take this the wrong way, but are you certain there was an explorer? You didn't just find a hat and make up some... What? Why are you looking at me like that? Is it me or is it hot in here? Why do I feel so... Uncomfortable. Mm. Flushed. Mm. Queasy. Mm. It's called a hard stare. My aunt taught me to do them when people had forgotten their manners. Oh, give me strength. Mr. Brown, you can trust me. There really was an explorer. And if we can find him, I know he'll give me a home. A proper home, like yours. Now, I've got an idea, but I'm going to need your help. Afternoon, chaps. If you ask me, the, the pink really brightens the place up a bit. If you ask me, you should pipe down and enjoy your dinner, because it might be your last. OK. Worry. I used to be a restaurant critic. It's not as bad as it looks. Oh. Oh. It's worse. <sighs> what is this? Nobody knows. But we've been eating it three times a day for the past ten years. Why doesn't someone have a word with the chef? <laughs> with mackles? Do mm. things to remember if you want to survive in here. Keep your head down <laughs> and never talk to Knuckles. Thank you. Well, I think it's a great idea. Tell you what, son. You get Knuckles to change the menu, and we might forget about you making us look like a bunch of pink flamingos. All right, then. I will. Oh, you don't want to do that. Aunt Lucy said, if you look for the good in people, you'll find it. She obviously never met Knuckles. Um, excuse me. Mr. Knuckles? Yes? I just wondered if I could have a quick word about the food. Send a medic to the canteen. Do you want to... complain? Oh, no, I, I wouldn't say complain. Oh, that's a shame, because I just love it when people complain. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, in that case, it's very gritty. Oh. And lumpy. And as for the bread... Need I say more? I think we need to completely overhaul the menu. Now, I know we're working to a tight budget, but we could at least add some sauce. Oh, oh sorry about that. I'll just, uh... Hmm. No, that's just rubbing it in. Don't worry. I know what gets ketchup stains out. Hang on. Was it mustard? Hmm, no. That's just made it worse. Does anyone know what works on ketchup? Chaps? Wakey, wakey. <laughs> Mumbling time. There you go, lads. Good luck. Um, Mr. McGinty? What do you want? Well, the thing is, I'm actually innocent. <laughs> and I wondered if you had any advice on how to clear my name. Now that we're friends. Friends? I'm your boss, not your buddy. Oh. Well, after you. Why? So you can stab me in the back? No, because it's polite. Aunt Lucy said if we're kind and polite, the world will be right. Ha! <laughs> you were ahead of me and now you're behind. That makes you a sap. Ingredients are over there. Um, aren't you going to help? Nope. Now get on with it. But there's 500 hungry prisoners coming for breakfast. So we'll need a thousand juicy oranges and... Oh, and rule number one. No talking. <laughs> rule number two. Hmm? No humming. But... Or singing. I... Or any other expression of bon hummy. Come on, put your back into it. 
These sacks are awfully heavy. Well, take them one at a time, then. Right. One at a time. One juicy orange. Two juicy oranges. Three juicy oranges. Four juicy Now oranges. what are you doing? Taking them one at a time. One sack at a time! I'm sorry. I'm finding this a very stressful working environment. Aunt Lucy said... Aunt Lucy? I've had it up to here with Aunt Lucy! <sighs> She sounds like a proper old bag to me. I beg your pardon. I said, your Aunt Lucy sounds like one of the most naive, gullible, mushy-brained. What's going on? Why, why are you looking at me like that? It's awful hot in here. Are you hot? I'm hot. Did I leave the oven on? It's called a hard stare. Aunt Lucy taught me to do them when people had forgotten their manners. You don't have to tell me about hard stares. I practically invented them. Pretty good for a bear, though, I'll give you that. Now, Mr McGinty, I may look like a hardened criminal to you, but I really am innocent. And if you're not going to help me clear my name, you could at least help me make this marmalade. All right, I'll help. Thank you. Not going to be much use to you, though. These aren't exactly made for cooking. Oh, I don't know. Looks to me like you've got yourself a fine pair of orange squeezers.